Hey golfers, Tony here with Reactionary Golf. I'm at the world headquarters of Pure Motion. I'm going to be sharing with you today some of the programming, some of the different exercises that you can start developing into your routine to get a nice, strong, enduring back that holds up for 18 holes, 36 holes, 72 holes of golf. Golf is not about being necessarily a strong core, but it is about being in, having a core that can withstand the endurance of the demands of swinging a golf club. And we look, we're going to bring in the founders of Pure Motion and share with you some great, fascinating research and some exercises to help improve your game. The founder, <laughs> the, the mad scientist, the creator, former Olympian, Jorge Bonet. How are you, Tony? It's been a pleasure. Pleasure. Nice seeing you again. We are going to, I've learned about Pure Motion actually from Jeff Flat back in 2013 when we started working together. And he brought me here and it was like, wow. <laughs> my, my back problems went away, my range of motion increased, my ball distance increased. I'm going, okay, now I know why Jeff can hit it so far. And so what we're gonna start doing is bringing you all those secrets of a new training methodology to help you develop a stronger, healthier back and be able to hit the ball a lot further. So, okay, well, share it to the world what, what, what you did for Jeff and what you've done for me. Well, first of all, I mean, Jeff showed up here back in 2012. I even didn't know the guy. He walked through the door and he said, I just want to quit a workout. Well, it was two hours and he still did not finish. But um, it was a, a, a wonderful experience and um, Jeff decided to turn his, um, his career from baseball to, to golf. Uh, specifically long drive golf. So as you guys already know, there's a lot of rotation when it comes to, uh, to golf. So, and, uh, and again, I want to make clear that as a strength coach, my responsibility is not to train the skill of the sport, but it's mainly to strengthen the musculature in the direction of the skill of the sport. For instance, in the golf swing, I mean, we know it's something like, like so, something like this. So as a coach, I look at the musculature involved in that movement pattern, and my challenge is to make sure that not only we strengthen what we call the arc of the golf swing, but we also make sure that we maintain the integrity of the athlete, not only when they play, but more important, after they retire. Okay. Well, that's the biggest thing, longevity. As we get older, unfortunately, we get older every day. Can we keep playing 60, 70, 80 years old, 90 years old? Let's keep getting stronger. The research is showing us that you can still achieve muscle growth, hypertrophy, into your 80s. So don't want to hear it, oh, I'm 70 years old, I can't move. No, I'm going there. I'm not going to let that happen. So we have to take care of the body, develop the muscles that support the body, support the spine. Jorge here is going to show us some great exercises to do that. Absolutely. But first of, all, uh, first of all, I just want to make clear this. When it comes to core strength, and you know, let's define core in a very simple way, okay? It's anything that goes from here to here, okay? And you as golfer, you know, if you want to develop you know, golf muscles, there are plenty of ways of doing it besides traditional method, like for example, sitting you know, with your butt on the ground and doing traditional sit-up, leg raises and whatnot. The key is to develop movement patterns on your feet because that's how you play, okay? In, in a way that, you know, it's simple, but more important, efficient. It gets you in, in the weight room and out of the weight room fast, but efficient. And there are simple movements and tools that you can use to strengthen the art of the golf swing. Okay, golfers, Jorge, I, I got to get back in shape. Christmas has just hurt me. I know that the research that I've been doing, crunches, mm -hmm. worst thing. This just kills the spine. The sagittal flexion just kills it. It takes those discs and just squish them and all the jelly squirts out the back. Herniated discs. What can I do different to have a strong core? Well, to make sure that you have a strong, durable uh, core, I mean, you need to work, and I mean again core, shoulder to hip, it's very simple. You have to strengthen the front of the core, the back of the core, each side, and also that cross pattern. Cross pattern from the front side and cross pattern on the back side. It is as simple as that. The challenge is now, which are the movements that we can do and the tools that we use 
to maximize that transfer that you're going to invest in the weight room that transfer to the uh, golf course. Now I got Tony already set up with the AirFit and the AirFit is nothing else that you know device that has a, um, a strap, spring, you got this pulley, rope and these slings. And notice how simple Tony is going to demonstrate how we can strengthen the front of your core. And I'm also going to show how we can do some short rotation, okay, with using the same, the same start position, okay, and uh, what he's going to do, he's going to go back into a plank, okay. He's going to do what we call reverse sit-up. So it's a sit-up, but he's going to be faced down by starting in a plank position, okay. At that point, all he's going to do, he's going to tuck his elbows in, chin, also going to tuck it in, he's going to flex the hips. See, it looks very much like a sit-up. Okay, the only contact on the ground are his toes, making the exercise extremely challenging. But muscle tension is extremely high, all the, you know, from, it covers the whole trunk and the hips. But I want Tony to explain to you guys what he's feeling, because one thing is what I say, another thing is what you feel. So Tony, take a little break, <laughs> and you did it without my permission. <laughs> But I want you to stand up. You wanted me to explain it. <laughs> I want you to stand up All for right. a second. Okay. Now, expl explain to, 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 to our friends, you know, what do you actually feel? And this is what I love about it. It's that we're not isolating a muscle. We're not isolating here. Back, oh, these were just on fire. Hip flexors, the whole system seemed to be engaged in this. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just an isolated movement. Absolutely. And, you, you know, we did it body weight, you know, just... It's a simple, it's a simple tool. You can carry with you anywhere. And it's a great way, again, to challenge not only the front of the core. We like it too because we can strengthen one of the most neglected muscles in the hip area, which is the hip flexor. People are so tight in the hip flexor because they don't strengthen it. They stretch it, they love to stretch it, but they don't strengthen it. And as an added value, if you don't have a strong lower back, you're going to have it here because, again, like Tony said, muscle tension is almost from head to toe. Remember, the only contact, body contact or body part in contact with the ground, the toes, that makes the whole body musculature, uh, you know, that needed to be engaged. So how many reps, how many sets, how, how would you put this in? Well, <laughs> I mean, we usually, we usually uh, prescribe, you know, in, in, a, in a workout, you know, beginners, intermediate, anywhere between 8 to 12, 8, 12, 15 reps, 2 to 3 reps, depending upon the level. But I tell you, once you get to that advanced level and you can progress to advance, we have athletes, even golfers, that they will do 25, 40, 50 in a row. Even this morning at headquarters, we prescribe it. Our app workout, core workout today is 300 reps, but partitioned in multiple sets. So it can be done. It's not like sit-up. Sit-up, you can do a lot of sit-up, okay? The difference, a lot of body contact on the ground. Here is the total opposite. But it's a very efficient way to develop the front core that really transfer when it comes to play on the field. Hey golfers, so hopefully you enjoyed this promo of how to get your core into shape. Um, I'd like to thank George and Stu and Pure Motion for allowing us to use this video. And, and check, if you join the lab now, you'll actually get discounts to some of their products um, and you get more in-depth information. And our goal down the road is actually produce some uh, training videos for you. So uh, be on the lookout for that. So good workout, keep it going. Have a great 2017. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.